All right, welcome back to Big B Beer Review 2022 Advent Calendar Showdown. Day 15, beer two of two Advent Calendars from the Sam's Club Advent Calendar made by the Minhaus Brewing Company. Day 15. Box of shreds. Yeah. 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 beer is the Arnold Schwarzbier. Five percent German style black lager. Let's get to the damn bar and review it. Get to the damn bar! It's time to have some Schwartz beer! <laughs> Alright. Welcome back to the damn bar for beer two of two advent calendars, the 2022 advent calendar showdown. I'm not talking to you! Alright. So, day 15, beer two from the uh, Sam's Club. Advent calendar, which seems to be the grungiest of all of them. If y'all have one of these calendars, check your cans. Especially for this one, for the Sam's Club one, the Men's Hospital Ring. Every one I've gotten has had gunk all around it on the top. Maybe it's just mine. I hope so, for y'all's sake. Schwartz beer. It's a German-style black lager. Coming in at 5% ABV. It's the Arnold Schwarzbier. I don't know why I have to keep going back to that. <laughs> right, a black lager. So I imagine this is the lager version of a porter or a stout, in a sense, which are both ales. Mm. And yes, it smells like a dark, like a stout or something like that. Different types of yeast and temperatures of fermentation is what makes the difference with lagers and ales. Ales are usually typically fermented at higher temperatures, considered top fermentation, heat rises, and lagers are colder fermented and called bottom fermentation because, you know, heat rises and cold settles. That definitely looks like a dark beer. Looks like it could be a porter or a stout, but it is a lager. Nice. That's pretty gold darn dark, if I do see. So I do see some light coming through the bottom. It's not much. That's pretty damn dark. But the more I'm holding it at an angle like that, it's got some, some transparency. Yeah, I can see it when I hold it up to a light. Yep, exactly. So, I think I'm going to give that about, let's see, I'll go to the damn near 44. I think it's the highest dimmer on that. Huh. But I'm going to give it a 40. Uh, not, not really, you know, very fragrant. Like a slight roasted smell, almost. It smells like like uh, almost like a Guinness. Salut. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. If this, if it wasn't for <clears throat> if the fact that it's lager, it tastes like a porter or a stout. Hmm. I'd say it probably tastes more like a, a stout. This reminds me of Guinness. Mm. But this one's a little bit more of like a medium body. It's got a very, it's very smooth. Roasted caramelly flavors. But it doesn't have that bitterness that like a, a, a Guinness Extra Stout would have. Or just like a Guinness anyways. This one has a sweetness to it. A nice, like, a sweetness in the finish. 
a nice syrupy little, like not super sweet, but it's like a syrupy type sweetness in the finish, which is, I find very pleasant. A very smooth finish. So food pairing, this is really pleasant. I think like a, a chocolate cake or something would be a great pairing with this. Like a German chocolate cake. <clears throat> so, Big D Beer View Grade. Would I buy this one again? I probably would. I would like to, I wish that he'd actually, I could find this or something similar to it. I'm going to look up, I'm, I, I need to find another Schwartz beer. I, I think this might even be my very first Schwartz beer. As a matter of fact, I mean, I'm going to have to go look, but if I'm mistaken, it is. So this is like another beer conquered. So, yeah, um, nice. I'd definitely buy it again. I would definitely drink it again, and I highly recommend it. So I'm going to give this one an A+. Plus. An A+. Plus. This one's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoy making it. If you do, hit like. If you want to make sure that you get notified to see the rest of them, the rest of the Advent Calendar Showdown, total of 48 beers, hit subscribe. And uh, I just have to be doing a lot more reviews after that. You know, I'm just going to keep it going as long as I can. <laughs> Plus, I make my own homemade beers. So, stay tuned, y'all, and I hope to see you here at the damn bar again. Until next time, salute.